Hello, FAC family, Paul Smith and Maria Darby here. We are so looking forward to seeing you again on Sunday, June 14th, as we resume our in-person services. While I said it's gonna look and feel different, we're gonna make the most of it and have a great time worshiping together. Yes, as Pastor Paul said in his video a few weeks ago, while these restrictions on seating, cleaning and visiting feel restricting, God will not be restricted, and we anticipate him meeting us in a very special way as we gather. Now, we wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through how you will register for the services in the coming weeks. Because of the guidelines on social distancing and capacity, we are only permitted to fill our sanctuary to 33%. This means we can only have 170 people in here at once for each service. On a typical Sunday before the virus, we had a lot more than that in here for each service. Um, we have to follow the same guidelines for our lower auditorium, where there will be a live video feed. The maximum seating there will be about 40 people. We wanna give you a peek at what the sanctuary will look like when you come. You will notice that there is a six foot radius around the rows or groups of seats. They are grouped by smaller numbers and guidelines say only family units can sit together. Now at this point in our building reopening, there cannot be any nursery. There can't be any children or youth ministry, so everyone will have to worship together. Parents, don't worry, we have some great things in the works so that your kids, our kids, are gonna have a great time in that service. So while we wanna acknowledge how different it looks and the limited seating, again, it's time for us to embrace and get excited about gathering together. We cannot wait to welcome you home. Now, FAC family, we've had about 800 of you tell us now that you're ready to come back according to our survey. And so we need everyone, and I mean everyone, to register for the services coming, coming up, um, letting us know your choices of seats going forward. Now, we know it's easy to think, it'll be fine if I don't register, I've gone here for so long, they'll count me in, but we actually do mean for you to register. We really need everyone to take the two minutes it'll take to choose your service so we're sure we can have space for everybody to worship. Two minutes. With that said, you're gonna have four service options to choose from. Our Sunday services, as we've said, are at 9, 11, 3, and five. You will also have to identify how many people will be sitting with you. It's kind of like making a reservation at a restaurant. Choose your time and how many will be in with you. Again, FAC family, it's simple and it's very essential and we can't wait to see you. So with that being said, let me turn it over to Chris Davis, our awesome IT specialist here at FAC, and he's going to show you how it e easy it is to register. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, we appreciate you taking the time to register for our Sunday services so that we're able to keep everyone as safe and healthy as possible during this time. The easiest way to register for a service is to go to our website, faclex.com, and choose the top banner that says, let us know you're coming. You can also look under events in our Church Center app. Once you've clicked the banner, you'll come to a page that lists our four Sunday services. Just pick the service you want to attend, click the register button, and then pick the size of your group. At the bottom, you'll put in your name and email address to complete the registration. Once you're done, you just hit the complete registration button and you're all set. Please note that if a service time or group size isn't listed, that means we are at capacity. We encourage you to pick another service time or contact us at info at faclex.com so that we can help you further. Again, thanks so much for taking the time to register for our Sunday services. We look forward to seeing you in person.